So I promised a garden tour. I'm gonna start outside the fence, current fence. This is an area that I keep expanding and moving and that would be east for me. But it's been blown around. You can see where it was killing out stuff and it's got pushed around. This summer, late summer, there will be a 24 by 72 high tunnel in this area. So let's keep walking. Look, garlic that I know that works. I have another test bed over there. This is Polish hard deck and music. Over there are some rows, Italian rows and some early stuff that I don't know about yet. Inside the netting. This is sweet Charlie strawberry. Supposedly it is sweeter than these Chandlers, which I need to pick when I get done with this. And something interesting guys is the sweet Charlie is supposed to fruit about two weeks before the Chandlers. It wasn't the case. And it all has to do with using the black woven weed fabric. I believe it warmed the soil up faster and you see the production is pretty good. I've been picking up to a dozen every day off of this and only a couple off of the Sweet Charlie so far. And I'm starting to get the daughter runners as well, which I will let kind of get rooted and then transplant thus the space between the two because I knew that I'd be expanding this. So here's some spring spinach. Uh, my cabbage starting to head up some of them nicely. Some spring lettuce. I had a bunch indoors. I'm about done. I've been doing it for baby greens. More of this Russian red. This is a mustard that I tried from Pantry Seed. And it's a different look of mustard than what I've seen mustard greens look like. So I'm not sure if it's edible or what, but it was an experiment and it worked. I grew it. Broccoli. Hopefully get a few heads. Broccoli is hit and miss for me in this region. Swiss chard that I'm letting go to seed to collect the seeds. And lavender. And I have more on the way and more I've started. Um, lavender strategically was put almost in the middle, not quite in the middle, but it's such a good attractor for pollinators. That's where I wanted it. And that's why that is blank. That'll be like sugar snaps did not do well this year. I think my seed was old. So, oh well, I will do it again in the fall. This is a row of green beans, bush style. Over here, I have a row of black eyed peas. And this is all inside the netting because if I don't, the deer would get them all. We're getting into bell peppers. These are all emerald giant. A couple tiny jalapenos. I have struggled with jalapenos in the past. And then I have cayenne. Over here, this is a full row of sun golds, which I did a video my first one of those planting these. So I have sun golds. In between, you see basil. I probably passed those oregano back there. Oops, sorry, but the, up here, oregano. Next to it, Amish paste. Trying them. Not real thrilled yet. Maybe we get some temperatures. Today was only in the 50s, got to the 60s. So that's oregano at the base of it. And we go down Amish paste tomatoes. Kind of struggling, but it's been cool too. More oregano, more basil. Over here is what I call my production tomatoes, commercial tomatoes, whatever. These are jet setter. They will do well for me. I always have, always will. And you see intertwined with basil. Here on the end, it's a brandy wine, my heirlooms. Um, again with the basil. 
I believe this, keep doing that. This should be Big Rainbow, which is also an heirloom. Again with basil. And this last one will be Black Crown. Again with some basil. Now, at the end, the blank spot you did in there will be okra. I uh, need to get in the ground, but it was too dang wet. And I really want my trap crop that I did another video on to get further along before I do the okra. Continuing, these are some garlic that I'm trying. There are three different types of Italian rose garlic. I can't recall the exact cultivar off the top of my head, but I want to see how they do. And a few buttercrust seeds I threw in here that I picked a couple times and all that. So that's what I have right now. Guys, I remind I still have cucumbers and squash to do, which I wait plus the okra. I don't grow some things because I just don't eat them very well and don't use enough of them to grow them like potatoes or onions. Just don't use enough to gr take up space to grow that. I try to grow things that I enjoy and stuff that I can preserve pretty well. Simply preserve, put it that way. So that's where I'm at. Um, let me flip this around again.